Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the brand new Blink battery extension pack for the Blink Outdoor 4 camera. This is a new accessory from Blink that effectively doubles the time you can use the camera before you ever have to worry about changing the batteries. Now, if you're familiar with the Blink system, it's a battery-powered camera that's Wi-Fi connected, which makes it incredibly flexible because you can effectively pop a couple of batteries in it, add it to the application as long as you're within your Wi-Fi range, and you can put it anywhere you need to, inside or outside your home, to keep an eye on things. Now, I've used the Blink cameras ever since they were first introduced, and I have a ton of them all over my yard and inside my home, and they work really great. The one challenge with any battery-powered camera is that it's only going to work as long as there's power in the batteries. And if you put the camera in an area where there's a lot of foot traffic, where it's triggering motion all the time, or you've decided to really record high-resolution images, or you've extended the recording time for a longer clip, you could go through those batteries pretty quickly. Now, Blink advertises that under normal use, a fresh set of lithium batteries should last you about two years. And in my experience with all the cameras I've got, in low traffic areas, I'm getting a year and a half, maybe a little bit longer, but in high traffic areas, like my front porch, my driveway, my backyard, where it's being triggered a lot because people are moving around, I'll get a little less than a year. So this product really appeals to me because it allows me to extend that time, basically doubling the time that I can use the camera because you've got two batteries in the camera now, this kit installs four batteries, so it's basic math, it's twice as long, you've got twice the power. Now before I get too deep in how to use the product, I always like to start with a really quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll talk more about the product because it's not rocket scientist. What they've done here essentially is figured out a way to add four batteries to a camera that's designed to handle two batteries. They don't change the voltage, all they're doing is adding more capacity. So it'll last a little bit longer because there's more electrons inside the four batteries for that camera to drink, which is gonna extend its use. But anyway, let me get into the unboxing first. So when you pop open the box, you'll find the battery extension pack it's custom made for the Outdoor 4. Now, that's one thing to keep in mind. This won't fit older Blink cameras. There are products on the market that are third party, and I think Blink makes a few as well, that do a similar thing for the older cameras, but this one is specifically built for the brand new Outdoor 4. And the reason that's important is because they've changed the shape of the camera. So this one's got rounded edges. It's a little bit fatter than the last generation product. It's a wonderful camera, but make sure that if you're ordering this, you've got the Outdoor 4 camera that you want to use it with. Also in the kit, they give you four brand new lithium batteries. I think that's great because a lot of times you'll buy an accessory like this, you'll open it up, get all excited, you'll pull the camera down, get ready to install it, and you don't have batteries. You gotta run out and pick up some batteries. So I love the fact that the kit includes both the extension pack and four of the lithium batteries, which means once you open up the box, you climb the ladder, you pull down the camera, you pop in the new extension pack, put it back up, and you're set. Four years of use under most cases. All right, also included is an instruction manual, which basically explains how you can add the camera to the application. But if you've already got the camera mounted someplace, it's already part of the application, so all you're gonna have to do is install this on the camera. All right, so let me talk a little bit more about how you install this in the camera. So the unit itself comes with a little nice uh, plate on the front here, it's just a piece of cardboard. You can pop that off. There's a little uh, QR code there you can scan that'll walk you through how you add it to the application. But technically, if it's already part of the application, the camera you're gonna add this to, you won't have to worry about doing anything. And you'll notice pretty quickly that there are four slots inside there for batteries and four batteries. All you've gotta do is pop the batteries in in the right order. So let me pop those in there real quick. And these are lithium batteries, which is what you have to use with this camera because you need the extra power. So let me get these guys in there. It's taking me a little bit longer than I expected. I probably should put my glasses on. That would help a little bit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, there's one. Here's two, put this one down there. Let's see, we're gonna go that way, yeah, we're gonna go that way, and then four. And that's it, now the batteries are installed, we're ready to go. With the camera, you'll have to take the back off the camera, there's a little flat uh, blade back there, you can use a flat blade screwdriver, or you can use this little widget that comes with the kit. I like using this because it makes it a little easier. This is one of the mounts that comes with the kit. All right, so I got the back loose, pop the back off, that's it. Now you have to remove the batteries that are in the camera ready, so pop those out, put those aside. I'll put them down here for a second. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I add this to the camera? Because I could put it on there a couple of different ways. Boy, I hope I don't get it on backwards because then I'll blow up the camera. Well, if you look closely, on here there's a little stud sticking out, and they must have known they were gonna design this because inside the camera, there's a little hole right there that matches up with the stud. So if you try to put it on wrong, it's not gonna join up. You have to make sure you line up the stud with that hole. Now watch what happens when I push this in, listen. 
Hear that click? That means it's completely weatherproof. So it's not gonna pop off. There's no way water's gonna get in. It's an incredibly tight fit and it really looks good. It's molded exactly the same as the camera. And then there's a stud right here that you can finger tighten to hold it on even more. So I'll tighten that up real quick, nice and tight. And once that's done, you can actually use a screwdriver if you want, because there's a slot on there as well. Or crank it in a little further. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, the last thing you got to do is put the backpack on it. So make sure you get that on there correctly. There we go. Just want to line it up like that and then pop the back on and you're good to go. Now, what I've done there is essentially doubled the battery capacity of this camera. And I didn't change anything because the back is exactly the same. I can pop this back on the same mount I had before. The only wild card is it doubles the thickness of the camera. So if you've got some kind of housing you're mounting it in, or you've got the uh, sleeve that fits over the outside of it, it's not going to work with this because obviously physically it's twice as thick, but I'm sure they're going to come out with new sleeves that are double sized for this particular unit. But that's pretty much all there is to it, and you're ready to go. So what did that take me, like two minutes to do it? Pull the camera down, swap it out, put the battery extension pack on, put the camera back up. I won't have to climb that ladder again for four years in most of my, my locations. Maybe every now and then I'll have a really high foot traffic area that I'll have to change it every couple of years. But it's going to double the time that the camera's up there when I don't have to get up in that scary ladder in the middle of the winter with all the ice and snow and stuff out there. So I think it's a great accessory. For me, I'm not going to use it on all my cameras. I have cameras all over the place. Some of them are in the backyard where there's not a lot of foot traffic, not a lot of animals going through, and I'm getting about a year and a half out of those, so I'm completely fine with that. But I promise you, my front porch, my driveway, my back patio, some of the rooms in the house that we're monitoring near the outside doors, uh, I'm definitely going to install this on the cameras that I'm using in those locations. But again, remember, it's built specifically for the Blink Outdoor 4, so if you've got an older camera, it's not going to fit, but it fits beautifully on the new Outdoor 4, and I think it's a great accessory. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I love when new stuff like this comes out out that can improve something I already own and this is a great product if you've got the blink system and you're using the outdoor four cameras and that's pretty much it for today so hopefully you found this review helpful I've enjoyed talking about it and until next time as always stay nerdy mm -hmm.